Carol, a frustrating afternoon for us. We've gone a goal up, look quite comfortable. We lose two poor goals and end up losing the game. Yeah, well, bit really disappointed to be honest with you. You know, but, um, to be honest, we weren't good enough. You know, we didn't really deserve to win. Um, played okay in patches, but all in all, didn't do enough. And you know, Livingston took their two chances. It was one of those games in the first half. We did have a few chances. Didn't put them away, unfortunately. If we maybe even got one or even two, it's a different game. But unfortunately, the second half just didn't pan out the way we wanted it to. Yeah, um, obviously, look, kind of quality up the front. I don't know, it just wasn't good enough today, you know. I had my hands up on that one. It was me quite a few times, more so than anyone else. But, um, you know, I thought in the first half we looked quite comfortable and good control of the game. But, you know, just sloppy. Really sloppy, I suppose. The second half, the goal that you scored, that was difficult to see from over there in the commentary positions. A lot of bodies around about it. Everybody seemed to be having a swipe at it. No one seemed to get a connection. You managed to poke it into the far corner. It was scrappy, but they all count. Yeah, exactly. Look, it was supposed to come from a long throw. It just landed around. As you said, there's bodies everywhere. I got a toe on it. Went my luck, but you know, we should have seen it out from that time. I guess the lads at the back won't be happy with the way that we dealt with the two Livingston goals defensively. We weren't too clever. It's very easy to start blaming people, you know, as 11 we weren't good enough. You know, you couldn't point the finger at anyone. The only one I thought had a good game was Louis Allen. You know, his debut, and to be honest, it's not up to him to have a good game on his debut. He just has to be there and lads should drag him through it, but he was probably our best player today. We've got a week off now with the international break before we play Kilmarnock on the 15th. Your own point of view, you know, you're away with the Republic of Ireland squad? I'm not sure yet. I was in the provisional squad, so I'll find out soon enough. Um, hopefully in the next day or so, I'll know anyway. But um, it's going to be a long two weeks now, isn't it? You know, it's always better when you go into these these breaks, winning games and full of confidence. But you know, it's a it's a bad one for us to I suppose give away. And now we're going to have to think about it for the next two weeks and I suppose obsess over it and uh, try and make it right. It's the frustrating thing, as you say, when you've lost a game, you want the next one to come along as quickly as possible to put it right, but all you can do is work hard on the training pitch and look forward to the Kilmarnock game. Yeah, that's it. Look, we're going to have to think about this one because it's a disappointing loss, it's frustrating, but we're going to have to put it behind us quite quite quickly um, and get ready for the for the game, as you say, against Kilmarnock. You know, it's a massive game, obviously, even more so now after dropping points today, so we're going to have to be at our best and hopefully get the three points. You know, we need them now.